don't start your day without your devotion. Follow us on the 6 is 12 podcast for refreshing Bible devotion. Hello, good morning. You're welcome to the 6 is 12. This is the audio devotional set to start your day up for you on God's word. And by the grace of God, we've been studying the book of Matthew since um, the month of December, which is December 26, which was the very day we launched. And um, we are on Matthew 28 now, which is the last chapter of book of Matthew. And um, to everyone that have been following, we say thank you and God bless you. And we believe that these audio devotion have been a blessing to you. And by the grace of God, we are taking it to the next level, which is please We'll be giving a WhatsApp link, a, a WhatsApp group, group link, where you can join our WhatsApp group, where um, because we don't have much time to discuss here. Yeah? So after um, we've, we've read, uh, I've read it to you. We can share our own opinion. Um, we can share what we've learned in the WhatsApp group, and every one of us can what we can learn. And I'm your host, Etim Jeremiah. Is my name. And uh, we'll be starting with Matthew 28, verse 1. And by the grace of God, we'll be stopping verse 10. Let us pray. Sweet and everlasting Father, we say thank you for how far you've carried us through. Thank you for your word that you've given us. Father Lord, the apostle Lord, not to just be the hearer or the listener only, but also be the doer of your word, of your word in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, Oh, we bring all our listeners before you, O Lord, as we go about our daily activities, our days are blessed in the name of Jesus. Father, we bring our business, we bring all that concerns us before you in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as we study your word, we ask for deep revelation and knowledge, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Matthew 28 verse 1, and we're reading from the New Living Translation. Early on a Sunday morning, as the new day was done, Mary Magdalene and other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone and sat on it. His face shone like lightning and his clothes His clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead fence. The angel spoke to the woman. Don't be afraid, he said. I knew, I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come. See where his body come. See where his body was like was laying, and the, and now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. Then the women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy, and they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them, and they ran to him, grasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Tell my brothers to leave for Galilee. And they will see me there. That is where we'll be ending today. That's where we'll be stopping today. And uh, we ask for deep revelation and knowledge and insight into your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now he said, don't forget that in in the late part of um, 27, when they went and met with, um, uh, they met with. Yes, they met the priests and the Pharisees met with Pilate and they said, 
and they, they, they were speaking to Pilate and they said, please, this man had said when he was alive that he would raise up the, set, the third day. We would not want it to be so. So Pilate told them, he said, take guard and secure the tomb the best you can. Don't forget that word, the best you can. They, 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 they guided the tomb the best they can. Yes, the best they can see. The enemy might have um, protect and secure you from becoming someone in life the best they can. Yes, the enemy must have um, do all the best that they can to prevent you from becoming that which God wants you to be. Yes, the enemy must have done a lot to prevent you from knowing the from seeing the marvelous light of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has been doing a lot. He has done a lot. He has done the best he can to prevent the body of Christ from growing. Yes, from preventing many from attaining the heights of success, spiritual success, business success, marital success, relational relationship success, all kinds of success. The enemy has done the best they can. And the scripture says, early on a Sunday morning, when Mary Magdalene and all the other Marys came to the tomb, they had already seen that the angels were there. He said, suddenly there was a great earthquake. There was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone and sat on it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly tell you today that no matter the problems that the enemy have bestowed on you, no matter what the enemy have brought forth to you and is looking very, very, very big and is looking as if you cannot move on in life, Yes, it's looking like you cannot move on in life. Don't forget, when we were discussing, the people were saying, if he calls himself Jesus, the son of the living God, why can't he help himself now? He has been helping others, let him help himself. Let him come down. If he can come down from the cross right now, we will believe him. The the intention of the people was, Jesus will just break the cross he would start floating in the air like superman and fire will be coming out from his eyes and he'll be doing so much miracle and all of them will believe that ah this is the son of god and they will bow down before him that was what they were expecting but when the time came the angels descended from heaven they rolled away the stone and they sat on it. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what the enemy has done, no matter what has happened and it's looking irreversible, no matter the, the, the things that has gone wrong in your life, the angel of the Lord God Almighty will pull every stone away from your life sit on it sitting on it is for it not to roll back yes sitting on it is for it not to roll back they pulled it away and they sat on it every problem that is that has been disturbing you by the virtue of this word by the virtue of this verse that we have read he said he sent forth his word and his word he led them this is God's word that have been sent forth to us today by the virtue of this word take it, believe it that every problem that look so strong in our life let us begin to proclaim this word of the Lord this word of the Lord saying Lord as the angel descended from heaven and rolled away the stone and sat on it Lord every problem in my life you call the names of those things that look so heavy for you and you ask the angel of the lord to sit on it to roll them away and sit on it you you, you attain victory over these things 
now another thing again i want us to see he said his face shined like lightning and his clothes was as white as snow now take note the guard shook with fear when they saw him and they fell into a dead friend brothers and sisters honestly speaking jesus christ having his focus and his gaze on heaven on his kingdom the heads was not just where he was meant to be it was just his passing place he came for an assignment and that assignment he carried out and he fulfilled it and because heaven was his main 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 target death could not with, with, withstand him the head could not withhold him down when it was time which was the third day he had already prophesied ahead he resurrected he resurrected he stood up he defeated death he defeated the grave he defeated everything and he stood up and he ascended into heaven brothers and sisters if christ if we are called christians and we are to be like christ our focus is to be on heaven which is our home we are passing through these heads so our focus should be on heaven we should not allow the things of these heads we should not allow death to hold us down we should not allow sin we should not allow prejudice we should not allow lies fornication and all kinds of sin to hold us down we should look away from it and we should pin our focus on jesus we should pin our focus on heaven and to be like christ to be with him that where he be we will be there also then another part, portion of the scripture says that his clothes his eyes he it said his face was shining like lightning now brothers when moses came down from the mountain his face shined and the people could not behold his face because his face was shining i tell you the truth if you carry the glory of god your face will shine like lightning your clothes would be would be as white as snow and evil men will not be able to see you evil people the enemies will not be able to see you they will not be able to behold your face what will they do they will fall they will fall on the floor with dead friends yes with dead friends and i pray that as we begin to study the word of the lord as we have studied this word and as we pray with it in the few minutes we pray father our face will shine our face will shine in the name of jesus our face will shine the enemies won't be able to behold our faces in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please jesus resurrected yes he went up to be with the father we should have our father focus in our hearts yes a lot is going on here on this earth but we don't belong to this earth we're living in it but we are not for it we don't belong here so we should have heaven in focus what life what will it be in this life if you should live and miss heaven Father, we say thank you for your word that has comfort. Help us, O oh Lord, to look beyond these heads, to look beyond these heads and make our focus on you, O oh Lord. That as you have gone to be with the Father, we too will walk our salvation with fear and with tremble and will be with you also in the name of Jesus. We say thank you for your word that has comfort today. That we ask, O oh Lord, that all we do, all we put our hands to do is blessed. Our going out is blessed. Our coming in is blessed. Our face will begin to shine like lightning and will bring favor to us. The enemies will not be able to behold our face. Every problems in our lives have been pulled away and been sat on in the name of Jesus. Thank you for, for, for following. Thank you for following. God bless you. Please do where to share with your friends. We just completed it. And I was asking which Bible verse you would like us to visit and a lot of persons are saying the book of Esther. Esther. So Esther is our next target in the Old Testament. So please do not miss it. Thank you and God bless you.